I know a lot of people look back at middle school and they're like, oh no, the horror, the horror. But for me, I was, I was that totally oblivious kid. I wasn't worried about what I looked like. I wasn't worried about girls. And, and so that's, that's kind of that, that weird mindset that I'm still kind of in from, from middle school days. And I love the term young adult. And I know that in, in children's literature, we use the term young adult to mean like a particular age group. And we often use it specifically for books that are for like eighth grade and up for, for like teenagers, right? But I love the term young adult more broadly for even for kids who are in middle school, not necessarily as a literature category, but to refer to them as young adults. Because I feel like kids in middle school are, they're still kids. They love to go out at, 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 at lunch and play dodgeball or, or play basketball. I mean, they're, they're still having what's kind of like recess. Um, but they're also adults. They are also beginning to see the world outside their school, outside their home, outside their neighborhood, their church. They're beginning to see the, the larger world. They can be super silly in one moment and super serious in the next. And it's like flipping a switch. And I try to play to that in my books. I have characters who are silly, but also going through really devastating stuff at the same time. Because I think that's that's in macrocosm, that's kind of what middle school is like. This author interview was produced through a partnership of the Grateful American Foundation and WETA. For more author interviews, please visit adlit.org.